Chapter 111. You mean I'm not worthy of you? Xing Jun asked. What do you think? Sonia asked back. Xing Jun suddenly laughed at himself. Yes, I'm not worthy of you. My status is low, but why would you rather find a prisoner who has been in prison rather than give me a chance? I'm rarely better than that prisoner. Xing Jun suddenly became excited, and his tone became a little more serious. Seeing Xing Jun say this, Sonia frowned. Who am I looking for? It has nothing to do with you, and you are not qualified to ask. Do you know who that David is? Not only is he a reform through labor prisoner, he is also a man who cares. He already has a girlfriend, you know. You were deceived by him. Xing Jun said, took out his mobile phone, and showed Sonia the photos of David and Wang Hanhan Han together. Sonia looked at the photo, her face became more and more ugly, and in the end her whole brows were twisted together. Seeing Sonia's expression, Xing Jun secretly delighted in his heart, and immediately hit the railroad while it was hot. This girl is called Wang Hanhan, Han. she is David's girlfriend, they have known each other since childhood, and the two are childhood sweethearts, and now they both work in Xin Yu company, and this the job is what David found for this Wang Hanhan. Han. Sonia didn't speak, and quietly looked at the two people in the photo. Sonia, I am sincere to you, I will never deceive you, what does this David have? How can he be better than me? Xing Jun continued to reveal his heart. Snapped. Just as Xing Jun finished speaking, Sonia Dinli gave him a slap in the face. This slap directly blinded Xing Jun, looking at Sonia with an incredible look on his face, he didn't understand why Sonia hit him. Xing Jun, do you dare to be afraid of David? Do you think that I will accept you? You are wrong, very wrong, I believe that David will not deceive me, and you don't need to use these photos to follow what did I say, don't you want to know how David is better than you? I can tell you that you are not even as good as one of his little fingers. After Sonia finished speaking, she got up and left with her bag on her back. Xing Jun touched his flushed face, and there was a terrifying light in his eyes. Sonia, you forced me, you forced me. Xing Jun gritted his teeth and said word by word. After Sonia walked out of the Western restaurant, her brows furrowed together again. Although she said she believed in David and didn't care at all, but when she saw David's intimate appearance with Wang Hanhan, Han, she was about to explode. Women are very jealous animals, how could she look at her man and other women so close and indifferent? Taking out her mobile phone, Sonia called David directly. Sonia has been looking for medicinal herbs for the past few days, and she has not contacted David actively, but she does not want this guy to carry himself and other women behind his back. At this time, David was eating lunch with Wang Hanhan Han and Sun Xiaoming. Because the lunch break was short, he could only have a bite at the food stall near the company. Seeing Sonia calling him, David hurriedly got up and answered the phone. Where are you? Sonia asked directly. I, I'm at home. David didn't want Sonia to know about her work in her company, and David didn't work for long. After he collected the medicinal materials, found the spirit pen, and cured his mother's eyes, David would not be working anymore. He has to put his energy into cultivation, otherwise July 15th is getting closer and closer, if David can't reach his strength, he won't be able to go to Wuming Island. At home. Sonia pressed the anger in her heart. Okay, stay at home. After speaking, Sonia hung up the phone directly. Chapter 112. David felt inexplicable for a while, so he could only go back to eat again. Not long after going to work in the afternoon, David was sorting out the bills. He planned to send it to Lin Tianyu and let Lin Tianyu handle it. If there was something Lin Tianyu couldn't handle, he would come forward. If he came forward in person, it would be a waste of time. But when David was sorting out the documents, there was a sudden commotion in the sales department, and then a group of people looked in the direction of the office and talked in low voices. David was a little curious, so he asked Sun Xiaoming, what happened? Sun Xiaoming glanced at David and said coldly, go back to work hard, Director Su came just now, but she didn't have time. I don't know what to do with our sales department this time. Now she's in the office. You have some eyesight, but don't offend Su Dong, you are implicated in me. Su Dong. David frowned slightly. Is Sonia here? When David said a word, everyone immediately turned to look at him, and Sun Xiaoming glared, you want to die. Can you call Su Dong's name too? Don't hurt me. Others also followed David to distance themselves, for fear that what David said would offend Sonia and implicate them all. Brother David, go back to work, don't talk nonsense. Wang Hanhan Han took David back to work. 
At this time in Kui Ziyuan's office, Kui Ziyuan, who had drunk some wine at noon, closed his eyes, and was about to squint for a while, heard the door of the office and did not open his eyes. At this time, he knew that except for the people in the sales department, no one will come to him. And the only person who dared to walk in without knocking on the door was Sun Xiaoming. If the others dared not to knock on the door, they would definitely be punished. Xiaoming, you came just in time, come and press my head, my head hurts a little. Kui Ziyuan closed his eyes and said. Sonia looked at Kui Ziyuan with a bit of gloom on her face, are you asking me to press your head? As soon as Sonia finished speaking, Kui Ziyuan suddenly opened his eyes. When he saw that Sonia was standing in front of him, looking at him with a gloomy expression, Kui Ziyuan's expression changed instantly. Bang! Frightened, Kui Ziyuan got up in a hurry. Because he was too flustered, he fell directly to the ground. And during the severe pain, Kui Ziyuan got up and walked humbly to Sonia. Su Dong, you, why are you here? If I don't come, do you want to turn this place into a club? Sonia said coldly. No, no, I don't dare. I don't dare, I beg Su Dong's forgiveness. Kui Ziyuan was so frightened that he shook his head again and again, and almost knelt down. Sonia didn't say anything, but walked behind the desk. Seeing this, Kui Ziyuan hurriedly pulled the chair out for Sonia. After Sonia sat down, she said to Kui Ziyuan, go and call David. Chen, David. Kui Ziyuan was taken aback, he didn't understand how Sonia knew about David. What to do with David? What? You didn't hear me. Sonia frowned. Oh, I'll go right away. Kui Ziyuan was so frightened that he hurried out. When the people in the sales department saw Kui Ziyuan coming out, they hurriedly dispersed, and went back to their workstations to pretend to be busy, but their eyes kept staring at Kui Ziyuan. They wanted to know what Sonia was going to do when she suddenly came to the company. I saw Kui Ziyuan walking to David's station and said to David, David, Su Dong is looking for you. After you go, don't talk nonsense. David got up and walked towards the office. He knew that Sonia must have come to find him, so it was not surprising. What is Su Dong looking for this David? It's really strange, does Su Dong know this David, why did he look for him as soon as he came? Could it be because David asked Boss Meng to owe money, and Su Dong came to him because of this? Come on, let's pull it down. Manager Kui hasn't reported the matter to the account yet. How could Director Su know? Everyone whispered, wondering why Sonia was looking for David. Chapter 113 Han Han, do you know if David knows Su Dong? Otherwise, why would Su Dong find him? Sun Xiaoming asked Wang Han Han curiously. After all, Wang Han Han and David have known each other for a long time, maybe Wang Han Han knows something about David. But Wang Han Han shook his head. I don't know either, but brother David just came out of jail not long ago, so he probably doesn't know a big man like Su Dong. Sun Xiaoming was right when she thought about it. David had been in prison for three years, how could he know Sonia, the eldest miss of the Su family? I hope this guy doesn't talk nonsense when he sees Su Dong, it will hurt us all. Sun Xiaoming said worriedly, for some reason, she always felt that David was unreliable. Brother David will not talk nonsense. Wang Han Han was very at ease with David. In the office at this time, David pushed the door open a little embarrassedly and walked in. Seeing Sonia sitting on the chair, David grinned. Didn't you say you were at home? Sonia asked with a cold face. Ah, I'm at home, I consider the company my home now. David rolled his eyes and said. Who is Wang Han Han? Sonia asked straight to the point. I said she was my sister, do you believe it? David looked at Sonia and asked back. Sonia sneered, do you think I believe it? David smiled awkwardly, and could only tell his relationship with Wang Han Han one by one. I and Han Han have only been neighbors for many years, not the kind of relationship you imagined. After listening to David's explanation, Sonia was relieved a lot. In fact, she still trusts David, but she just wanted to hear David say it herself. I imagine what is your relationship? What is your love relationship? It's none of my business. Self-motivated. Sonia rolled her eyes, but she was already happy inside. David also saw that Sonia was no longer angry, so he asked, how did you know I was here? How did you know about Wang Han Han? David was a little curious, how did Sonia know that she came to work in the company? After all, David is just an ordinary employee. It is impossible that after joining the company, the information will be passed on to the chairman of the board, Sonia. If this is the case, her chairman will be exhausted. Don't worry about it. 
Sonia stood up. If you want to go to work, tell me directly, I will give you the position of the general manager of the company, what are you doing as a salesperson, and besides, you are not short of money. I'm not a general manager, and I don't have time to take care of it. I just come to work to deal with my parents. Otherwise, they will always worry about me. I still have a lot of things to do, and I can't stay in the company for a long time. David waved his hand quickly, he didn't want to be chained to the company. By the way, why don't uncles and aunts live in Pinerest Villa? Isn't the environment there very good? Sonia recalled that David's parents insisted on leaving the villa, so she asked inexplicably. I don't know either. David shook his head, and now David didn't know why his parents had to leave Pine Bay and said those words to him. But I feel like someone said something to my parents and that's why they left. As soon as David's voice fell, Sonia Dunley understood. I know, it must be that guy Xing Jun, it's too much, he thought that, I would be able to like him, he is too sinister. Xing Jun. David was taken aback, is this the general manager? David now finally understands why Xing Jun suddenly appeared during the interview and left himself behind. It turned out that he knew about himself and his relationship with Sonia. Chapter 114 Yes, it's him, this guy has been pursuing me for many years, but I can't despise him. Sonia's eyes were full of disdain when she mentioned Xing Jun, and then continued, Otherwise, I will follow my uncle and auntie when I have time. Explain, after all, Pine Bay has a good environment and is suitable for retirement. Forget it, my parents are doing fine now, and there are some old neighbors chatting, we'll talk about it later. David intends to talk about it later. Sonia nodded, and was about to leave with her bag on her back. She just walked to the door, but suddenly turned around and said, If someone bullies you, don't be ashamed to tell me, if it doesn't work, I'll fire that Xing Jun. Do you think someone can bully me? David smiled lightly. Sonia also smiled, opened the door and left. David beat even Feng Sihai, with such a good skill, of course no one can bully him in this company. After Sonia left, Hui Ziyuan immediately rushed back to the office and asked David, David, what did Director Su talk to you just now? David gave Kui Ziyuan a cold look. I don't want to tell you. After finishing speaking, David walked out of the office and made that Kui Ziyuan furious. Okay David, don't think that you can ask for the account, so don't take me as a manager, I will make you look good. Kui Ziyuan yelled. After David walked out of the office, he was instantly surrounded by a group of people, who wanted to know what Sonia said to David, but David ignored them. In the afternoon, David sorted out the outstanding documents and sent them to Lin Tianyu, asking him to collect all the accounts. When it was about to get off work, Xing Jun suddenly visited the sales department, which made everyone in the sales department ready to get off work nervous. They were all afraid that Xing Jun would let them work overtime. Mr. Xing. When Kui Ziyuan saw Xing Jun coming, he hurried up to meet him. Xing Jun glanced at the people in the sales department, and after a moment of looking at David, he turned to Kui Ziyuan and said, Manager Kui, your sales department has performed well recently, so after get off work, I will invite everyone to a meal, you guys. All the sales departments must be present, no one can be missing, and the location is in Shanyuzhuang. After Xing Jun finished speaking, he turned around and left, leaving only Kui Ziyuan standing there dumbfounded. Ziyuan, did I hear it right? President Xing wants to invite us all to dinner. He also said that our sales department is doing well. Seeing this, Sun Xiaoming hurried to Kui Ziyuan and asked. Kui Ziyuan nodded suspiciously. What happened to Xing always today? Did you take the wrong medicine? You must know that Xing Jun has never invited all of their sales department to dinner, and because of the arrears, Kui Ziyuan was scolded every time he held a meeting. Today's sudden change made him a little overwhelmed. Manager Kui, President Xing invited us all to eat together. It's a good thing, why are you still in a daze, hurry up and tell me. Wang Lanlin said to Kui Ziyuan with excitement. Exactly. Kui Ziyuan hurriedly reacted, and immediately notified everyone, for fear that someone would leave the company directly after seeing that it was time to get off work. Xing Jun told me that no one in the sales department should be left behind. Everyone, Mr. Xing just came over to praise our sales department, and we also want to invite all the staff of our sales department to dinner. In Xi'an and Zhuang, everyone must be there, and are not allowed to be absent. As soon as Kui Ziyuan finished speaking, everyone in the sales department suddenly screamed. Damn it, Xi'an and Zhuang are too good. This is the best restaurant in Horendal, as famous as the Regal Hotel. What's wrong with Xing today? Have mercy. 
I'm going to dress up quickly, but I can't embarrass President Xing. For a while, everyone in the sales department began to prepare, especially some girls, went straight to the bathroom and started dressing up. Chapter 115 See you on, you have to behave well this time. If you please President Xing, maybe you can be transferred to the purchasing department as a manager. That's a bad job. Sun Xiaoming reminded Kui Ziyuan. Well, don't worry, I will work hard and buy a house in Pine Bay to be our wedding house. Kui Ziyuan nodded. When Sun Xiaoming heard this, a happy smile appeared on her face. David frowned slightly after hearing that Xing Jun suddenly invited the sales department to dinner. He knew that the meal was definitely aimed at him. But no matter what means Xing Jun has, David is not afraid. Soon, everyone in the sales department is ready to walk out of the company and go to Shanyuzhuang. Because these people come to work by car, only David and Wang Hanhan are taking taxis. Hanhan, get in the car. Sun Xiaoming was driving and beckoned to Wang Hanhan. Wang Hanhan got into the car and smiled at Sun Xiaoming. Thank you, Sister Xiaoming. You're welcome to me, sit down. After Sun Xiaoming finished speaking, she stepped on the accelerator. Hey, Miss Xiaoming, Brother Chen hasn't gotten on the bus yet. Wang Hanhan thought that Sun Xiaoming was pulling with David, but who knew that he drove away? I don't want to pull him, what should I do if my car gets dirty, there are so many cars behind, let him ride someone else's. Sun Xiaoming said in disgust. Wang Hanhan stopped talking, thinking that there were many people driving behind him, and whoever David was in would be the same. But just after Sun Xiaoming left, the people behind also drove past David, but no one stopped and let David get in the car. After Zhang Tongzhan drove his second-hand cherry past David, he wanted to stop the car and take David, but Kui Ziyuan behind him desperately honked his horn, urging Zhang Tongzhan. Seeing this, Zhang Tongzhan could only glance at David helplessly, and then drove away directly. When Kui Ziyuan drove past David, he stopped the car, rolled down the car window and looked at David with ridicule. David, look at your popularity, how messed up, no one is pulling you. David just smiled coldly and didn't say a word. Seeing that David didn't speak, Kui Ziyuan said even more proudly, just take a taxi, you can take the invoice and ask me for reimbursement tomorrow. Seeing Kui Ziyuan's smug look, David sneered, there is no need for reimbursement, maybe I will be in front of you in a while. Cut, unless you fly over, do you still want to get ahead of me? Kui Ziyuan smiled disdainfully, stepped on the accelerator, and the car rushed out quickly, he didn't want to follow David's nonsense. Looking at Kui Ziyuan who had already left, David transported the spiritual energy in his dantian to the soles of his feet. Although he couldn't fly yet, he would definitely be faster than a car if he performed sprint walking. But just when David was about to run away, suddenly a Bentley stopped in front of David, and Lin Tianyu opened the door and walked out. When David saw that Lin Tianyu had come, he couldn't help but say a little strangely, Lin Tianyu, do you have something to do with me? Palace master, as soon as I notified some of the debtors, I was so frightened that they all had to pay back their money, but your company's finance has already been off work, and there is no way to collect the money, so call me the money, and I will bring it to you. It turned out that after Lin Tianyu received David's receipt, a phone call scared those who owed money back, because Xin Yu Daily Chemical Company's finance company got off work early and could not receive the money. These people could only call Lin Tianyu. When David heard it, Lin Tianyu made a special trip for this, and couldn't help but smile. No hurry, you can just transfer to the company tomorrow. Chapter 116 Palace Master, where are you going? I'll take you. Lin Tianyu asked going to Shanyuzhuang for dinner, just in time for you to send me there. In this way, David doesn't have to run over by himself. After all, there is a lack of spiritual energy, and it is not easy to cultivate a little spiritual energy. Go to Shanyuzhuang for dinner. Lin Tianyu was stunned. Palace master, that is the property of the Chilong gang. You hurt that Feng Sihai, be careful they will retaliate. David didn't expect this Xi'an and Zhuang to be the property of the Chilong gang, but David was not afraid, and said lightly, just have a casual meal, nothing will happen, if they really want revenge, then if something happens it will be the Chilong gang. Lin Tianyu was right when he thought about it. With David's strength, even Feng Sihai, the leader of the Chilong gang, was no match, and the little fish and shrimp below were even less worth mentioning. Lin Tianyu opened the car door, invited David to get in the car, and kicked the accelerator towards Xi'an and Zhuang. On the road, Kui Ziyuan was driving and humming a ditty. Not to mention how happy he was.
Seeing David deflated, he was very happy. But at this moment, a car suddenly brushed past his car at an extremely fast speed. Damn, why the H3LL are you driving, rushing to get reincarnated? When Kui Ziyuan finished scolding, he saw that it turned out to be a Bentley, and he was so frightened that he hurriedly shut his mouth. People who could drive a Bentley in Horandal would definitely not be ordinary people. If this was provoked, he would be out of luck. Just as David and the others were on their way to Shanyazhuang, in a luxurious office of Shanyazhuang, a middle-aged man with a beard was sitting on an office chair. The middle-aged man has a scar at the corner of his eye, and he is trimming a cigar in his hand. Behind the middle-aged man are four big men with their heads held high and their faces grim. This middle-aged man is Liao Feishong, the manager of Shanyazhuang, and also a hall owner of the Chilong gang. Being able to manage Shanyazhuang also proves that this Liao Feishong is highly valued by Feng Sihai. In front of Liao Feishong, Xing Jun, the general manager of Xinyu Raihua, was sitting there. Xing Jun's expression was a little unnatural. There was a suitcase next to Xing Jun. Looking at these people in front of him, Xing Jun was very nervous. Liao Feishong finished trimming the cigar, and after lighting it, he took a deep breath and said, What do you have to say to me? Brother Shang, I want Brother Shang to help me get rid of someone. Xing Jun said. Do you understand my rules? Liao Feishong asked lightly. I understand, I understand, here is a million, a lot of points, and the person I want to deal with is not a political celebrity, but an ordinary person, and nothing will happen. Xing Jun said, opened the suitcase, and the white bills were exposed. Seeing a box of banknotes, Liao Feishong raised his mouth slightly. I see, you give me that person's information, and you won't see him in three days. Brother Shang, I will invite that kid to come to Xi'an and Zhuang for dinner. I hope Brother Shang can find a reason to kill him directly, otherwise I'm afraid others will suspect me. Xing Jun was afraid that Sonia would doubt himself if David suddenly disappeared, so he asked Liao Feishong to find a reason to kill David while he was eating, so that Sonia would have no reason to doubt himself. Let me kill Zixian and Zhuang. Liao Feishong frowned slightly. You know that doing this will have a great impact on my business. Brother Shang, after this is done, I can pay you 500,000, please do me a favor. Xing Jun hurriedly pleaded. Okay, for the sake of money, I'll help you once. Liao Feishong nodded. I'll send someone over when you have dinner. Thank you, Brother Bear, thank you Brother Bear. Xing Jun thanked him again and again, turned around and walked out. Walking out of Liao Feishong's office, Xing Jun's eyes flashed with a cold light, and the corner of his mouth raised slightly. When David is dead, I see if Sonia will refuse me. Chapter 117 At the door of Shanyazhuang, Lin Tianyu parked the car and opened the door to let David walk out. Palace Master, I am waiting for you here. If something happens, I can deal with it as soon as possible. Lin Tianyu said to David. David waved his hand. No, go back. Lin Tianyu nodded, got in the car and left. And just as Lin Tianyu was driving away, a red BMW approached. It was Sun Xiaoming who was driving, and Wang Hanhan was also on it. Because Sun Xiaoming left early, she was a little earlier than others. David, did you get off that Bentley just now? Sun Xiaoming asked David in surprise. Just now she saw David get off the Bentley, and she couldn't believe it, but when she got to David, she had to believe it. David nodded slightly. Brother David, are you sitting in a Bentley? I knew I would be sitting in a Bentley with you, but I've never sat in it before. Wang Hanhan said excitedly when he saw that David really came in a Bentley. But after I finished speaking, I felt something was wrong for a moment, so I smiled apologetically at Sun Xiaoming. Sister Xiaoming, I didn't mean that, it's fine to take your car. It's okay. Sun Xiaoming didn't care, she knew that Wang Hanhan was not malicious. It's just that Sun Xiaoming's eyes kept looking at David, she didn't understand why David came in a Bentley. David, whose Bentley are you sitting on? Sun Xiaoming continued to ask. A friend. David replied lightly. Do you still have friends who can afford a Bentley? This time, Sun Xiaoming was a little uneasy. A Bentley costs several million at least. In a small city like Horandal, there are not many people who can spend several million to buy a car. Before David could answer, Kui Ziyuan and the others also arrived, seven or eight cars parked in the parking lot, and they were all amazed when they looked at Xi'an and Zhuang in front of them. Tong John, put your broken car somewhere else, don't park here, shame on us. Kui Ziyuan yelled at Zhang Tong John who just arrived. 
Zhang Tongjian had no choice but to drive away, while Kui Ziyuan and the others pretended to be indifferent and walked towards Shanya Zhuang. As soon as I walked to the door, I saw Sun Xiaoming and David, which shocked everyone. David. You. Kui Ziyuan looked at David in disbelief, he never imagined that David would actually get there sooner than him. I said it, it will definitely be faster than you. David looked at Kui Ziyuan like that, and the corner of his mouth raised. Others also looked at David and sighed. David, did you fly here? Did you take a shortcut, how could it be so fast? It's really evil, when did he get in front of us? Everyone looked at David in disbelief and asked. Brother David came here in a Bentley. Wang Han Han said proudly for David. When he heard that David came in a Bentley, everyone didn't believe it, and Kui Ziyuan also snorted coldly. He is also worthy of a Bentley, I don't think he even knows what a Bentley looks like, he must be taking a taxi, super. Come over here, pretending to be the Bentley you're sitting on. Brother David is really sitting on a Bentley. Sister Xiaoming and I both saw it. Seeing that he didn't believe anyone, Wang Han Han explained anxiously. On the other hand, David looked indifferent and didn't say anything. Believe it or not, David didn't need to explain anything. Seeing that Wang Han Han said that Sun Xiaoming also saw it, everyone turned their attention to Sun Xiaoming, and Kui Ziyuan asked, Xiaoming, is it true? David didn't really come by Bentley, right? Sun Xiaoming nodded. I saw him get off the Bentley. Chapter 118 Seeing that Sun Xiaoming said this, everyone had to believe it, and Kui Ziyuan also remembered that he was overtaken by a Bentley on the road just now. David, you wouldn't run in front of me just to pretend to be compulsive, would you deliberately call a Bentley? It's going to cost a lot of money, so what? Kui Ziyuan said with a look of disdain. That expression is, even if you come by Bentley, even if you arrive before me, I still look down on you. That Bentley is not a special car driven by Brother David, but a friend of Brother David. Wang Han Han tried her best to defend David, she didn't want David to be looked down upon by these people. HMPH, will he have friends who buy Bentleys? Don't be so naive, who would believe him except you? Kui Ziyuan snorted coldly, and then asked the crowd, do you believe it? I don't believe it, fish look for fish and shrimp for shrimp, David looks so poor, how could he have friends who buy Bentleys? Pretend, who wouldn't say, I also said that a friend of mine bought a private jet. Does this count as a failure of pretending? Even if you don't look at your worth, you dare to say that you have a friend who buys a Bentley. Everyone mocked David with disdain. Even Sun Xiaoming didn't believe that the one who drove the Bentley just now was David's friend, only Wang Han Han believed in David. Seeing that David didn't say a word, he thought it was David's guilty conscience, Kui Ziyuan said cheerfully, let's go in quickly, Mr. Xing is waiting, I'll put the ugly words up front, who dares to provoke Mr. Xing today? Glad, I made you look good. Everyone nodded again and again, they didn't even dare to provoke Kui Ziyuan, let alone Xing Jun. Kui Ziyuan led the crowd to the private room that Xing Jun said. The crowd was finishing their clothes outside, taking deep breaths, trying to adjust their state before going in. But just when everyone was adjusting their state, David pushed open the door of the private room and walked in, which made Kui Ziyuan suddenly angry. When everyone followed up, they were relieved to see that Xing Jun was not in the private room. David, you are crazy, how can you just push the door and enter? Fortunately, Mr. Xing is not here, otherwise he will definitely be angry. Kui Ziyuan roared at David. Others also accused David one after another, for fear that David's behavior would implicate them too. Looking at Kui Ziyuan and everyone's faces, David sneered and said, Why? If you don't push the door directly, you have to worship and kowtow three times outside. How many years have you been since the Qing dynasty? Your ancestors are all slaves. David's words suddenly made everyone's face become extremely ugly, and that Kui Ziyuan was even more angry and flushed. David, what are you so awesome? If you are so awesome, don't work if you have the skills, don't be a slave, what are you pretending to be here, I can get you out of here with a single word. Kui Ziyuan roared loudly. Everyone also added bad words to David and asked Kui Ziyuan to fire David. Even Sun Xiaoming stared at David with an ugly face. David's way of scolding his mother after eating milk made her very disgusted. Only Wang Han Han explained for David. Brother David didn't mean that. Manager Kui, don't be angry. Wang Han Han is very afraid that David will lose his job. After all, it is not easy to find a good job like this, and the benefits are also good. You haven't the ability to fire me yet. 
David looked at Kui Ziyuan and said with disdain. David knew that Xing Jun would not agree with Kui Ziyuan to fire him. Since Xing Jun kept himself in the company, he would definitely not fire him just like that. What did you say? I'm the manager of the sales department. I have the final say in the entire sales department. I can't fire you as a small employee. What if you were left by Mr. Xing? I can treat you as well. Fired. I'm the biggest in the sales department. Kui Ziyuan yelled at David angrily. Chapter 119 But as soon as the voice fell, the private room door was pushed open, and Xing Jun walked straight in. Seeing Xing Jun coming, Kui Ziyuan was so frightened that a cold sweat broke out instantly. The words he just said were so outrageous that he didn't even pay attention to Xing Jun. Xing. President Xing. Kui Ziyuan trembled, and hurriedly pulled out the chair on the main seat for Xing Jun. President Xing, you sit. Xing Jun sat down slowly, then raised his head slightly to look at Kui Ziyuan and said, Manager Kui, I really want to hear you say that you are the biggest in the sales department. Kui Ziyuan hurriedly explained, Mr. Xing, I was just talking nonsense, who doesn't know that you are the biggest in the company, then David didn't understand the rules, and he provoked me, I just taught him a lesson. You know who is the biggest. The corner of Xing Jun's mouth raised slightly, and then he waved his hand, sit down. With Xing Jun's permission, everyone dared to take a seat, but David sat directly beside Xing Jun. Now that David knows Xing Jun's intentions, he will meet Xing Jun well and see what means he has. Seeing David sitting beside Xing Jun, Kui Ziyuan suddenly shouted, David, do you know who you are? Is that seat for you? You must know that this kind of thing is almost rare, everyone wants to sit next to Xing Jun, and then follow Xing Jun to draw in some feelings. Now David is sitting directly next to Xing Jun, which makes Kui Ziyuan very dissatisfied. Everyone also looked at David angrily. As a newcomer in the sales department, David was not qualified to sit next to the boss to eat. Even the old people like them were not nearly there. The positions on the left and right of Xing Jun must be given to Kui Ziyuan and Sun Xiaoming. What? Is it still eligible to sit? Is it written on the stool that I can't sit? David said with a cold smile. David, you don't know whether it's true or false, I think you're doing it on purpose. You want to follow Mr. Xing, right? You're just a new salesman. What are you doing? That position is for manager Kui. Stay. Wang Lanlin also angrily rebuked David. Everyone also shouted at David, saying that he just wanted to curry favor with the general manager. In such a good position, these old employees can't take a turn, why let David sit, no one is balanced in everyone's heart, so they accuse David. David glanced at everyone, his face full of disdain. Don't force your ideas on me, I can't control who you want to add, but I can sit wherever I want, and you can't control me. David went to Xing Jun's side, and then smiled lightly. General Manager Xing, I'm sitting here, don't I wrong your identity? David looked at Xing Jun with a bit of provocation in his eyes. This Xing Jun dared to be smart to himself, and David certainly wouldn't be accustomed to him. Seeing David speak with Xing Jun in such a tone, this scared Kui Ziyuan and others. Even Wang Hanhan broke a cold sweat for David. David, why are you talking to President Xing? Just like you, you dare to follow Mr. Xing, you have to face. David, don't think that Mr. Xing is approachable, you have to go ahead and get up quickly. Everyone yelled at David. And Kui Ziyuan was in a cold sweat, and he explained to Xing Jun nervously. Mr. Xing, this kid has something wrong with his brain, don't be angry. Xing Jun listened to everyone's accusations and scoldings against David, the corners of his mouth raised slightly, and he said with a faint smile, it's okay, let him sit here. After Xing Jun finished speaking, he turned his head to look at David, and said with a bit of deepness in his eyes, young people should have a temper, but their temper is too hard and it is easy to break. Chapter 120 Thank you, General Manager Xing, for reminding me, I'm a person who would rather bend than bend. David also had a meaningful smile on his face. Xing Jun just smiled and said nothing, because after a while, he knew whether David would bend. David occupied a position, Kui Ziyuan could only helplessly sit to the left of Xing Jun, while Sun Xiaoming sat next to Kui Ziyuan. Sun Xiaoming's eyes have been staring at David with disgust. If it wasn't for David, that position would be hers. If Xing Jun was happy to serve him today, maybe Kui Ziyuan could be transferred to the purchasing department, and he could be the same. What about the sales manager? Now Sun Xiaoming regrets bringing David into the company. If he knew this earlier, he would not agree to introduce David to death. Isn't this causing trouble for himself? 
David, if it wasn't for Mr. Shing, would you be able to join the company? Can you sit here and eat? I tell you, just like you, don't even think about being able to eat in Xi'an and Zhuang in your life, garbage. Hui Ziyuan insulted David with disdain. Now is the time to show loyalty to Xing Jun, of course Hui Ziyuan will not miss such a good opportunity. Snapped. However, as soon as Hui Ziyuan's words landed, he was slapped directly in the face. This slap shocked everyone in an instant. Everyone looked at Hui Ziyuan in a daze, and Hui Ziyuan himself widened his eyes and looked at David in disbelief. He didn't expect that David would dare to do something to him. And Xing Jun, who was sitting in the middle, frowned slightly. David hit Hui Ziyuan directly in front of him. He didn't take himself seriously at all. This slap is just to teach you a lesson. I won't move you, just for Uncle Sun Sake. If you dare to be disrespectful to me, I will screw your head off. David glanced at Hui Ziyuan coldly, with a strong killing intent in his eyes. Just at this sight, Hui Ziyuan was so frightened that he trembled slightly, his whole body seemed to fall into an ice cave. David, you're crazy, why are you fighting Ziyuan? When Sun Xiaoming saw that David actually attacked Kui Ziyuan, she immediately roared at David. David, you dare to beat manager Kui, I think you don't want to do it. It's the opposite, it's just the opposite. A small salesperson who dares to call a sales manager must be fired. Everyone spoke on behalf of Kui Ziyuan and fawned on Kui Ziyuan. David, you kneel down and apologize to manager Kui. Maybe he can forgive you and let you stay in the company, or you will definitely be fired. Wang Lanlan pointed at David and said sharply. Brother David. Wang Hanhan looked at David, a little overwhelmed, she did not expect David to suddenly attack Kui Ziyuan. Fire me. David's mouth raised slightly. Just relying on him, he is not qualified to fire me. The dignified manager Xing is here, how can he be a sales manager? David, I'm your ancestor, I'm going to kill you. After being shocked for a moment, Kui Ziyuan roared loudly. He didn't dare to be so afraid at this time, and he had to show fearlessness, otherwise he would have no place in the hearts of employees as a sales manager. Snapped. Just as Kui Ziyuan's words fell, when he was about to rush to David, David slapped him again. David's speed was so fast that Kui Ziyuan didn't have time to dodge. However, when David was beating Kui Ziyuan, he looked at Xing Jun with a provocative look in his eyes. It's just that Xing Jun's face was gloomy and motionless. After being slapped twice in a row, Kui Ziyuan was going to be mad, and said to David with anger, David, I. Chapters